All right, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, I am so excited to bring you this. The prototype Action Fleet homing spider droid. Originally slated to be released in 2004, but it never it never made it. Um, I, I have been trying to get my hands on one of these things for the past 20 years. I had it pre-ordered on two different websites um, back in 2004, and those were, of course, canceled when Hasbro let Action Fleet die a very slow death. I saw one go on eBay a couple years later for, I think, $611. Um, I didn't have the funds at that time to get it. And then ever since then, I've had a running search on eBay for uh, Star Wars Action Fleet Spider. I think that's what I was searching for because I actually didn't see this one pop up on eBay. It's because somebody else posted about it because uh, the company that listed it didn't list it as homing spider droid. They, list, they just listed it as homing droid, so I almost missed it. And it was listed for $5,000. Uh, from Torpedo Comics, and I decided to take a chance and message them and plead my case and beg them and say, look, I'm, I'm a collector, I this is my website, I've been searching for one of these for a very long time, here's what this one went for a long time ago, would you consider it letting it go for such and such price? And I paid significantly less than... $5,000. I'm not going to tell you how much, but it was a lot less. I am so glad that they worked with me on that. Uh, as you can see, there are some pieces that are kind of bent. Um, this box has definitely seen better days. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty rough. And because I am who I am, I'm going to open it. Um, also, you can see that it's it's in the uh, Republic Assault Ship, the Acclimator class Assault Ship box. They did not make um, boxes for the homing spider droid. They just used this uh, box as a mock-up for it. So I will keep the box just to commemorate my journey of trying to get one of these things. But I'm honestly not too worried if the box rips or something like that. This box is in really rough condition. Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty bad. Alright, there we go. There's part one. Ooh, there's some old, ooh, Hasbro dust. Ooh, smells lovely. Alright, next is undoing this part. I'm trying to get this on camera, but you're probably just going to get my hand a good bit because that's how this is. That's how this goes. This tape is just, it's already disintegrating in places. Um, I'm still trying to be very careful. But, uh, anyway. Let's see. Did I miss one? I missed one. Nope, didn't miss one. Alright, well this should be... Ah, uh, there we go. There we go. Wow. And the, the paint job looks fantastic on it just from here. Um, let's try to get this thing out as carefully as I can without nicking it. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to use this as a down payment on a car anymore. I could have. I could have saved it and like... Come on. These twist ties were always a, a joy to deal with. I think I'm going to come at that one from underneath. Um, I can... Yep, there we go. Alright. And some of the legs have already popped off. I don't think that was necessarily shipping damage. I think that it's just been in this box for so long that um, it, it's just been sitting for a very long time. So, <laughs> oh wow, 
Okay. Okay. All right, let's snap these legs back on place. Okay. All right, there's some stuff that's gotten a little bent. Um, I can I can deal with that. I can fix that. Um, but overall, those legs are really loose, by the way. I think if they actually went to make this thing, um, they would have to tighten up those legs a little bit. But, uh... That is a very fiddly little thing. Um, okay, so the feet are ball jointed and actually have a good bit of resistance to them. The legs don't have any resistance at all. Um, they just kind of sit there. But wow, that is just, that is too cool. That is too cool. I think this leg might be a little bit bent right there. Let's see if we can. Bend that back to a little semblance of where... Yeah, that looks better. That looks a lot better. Um, they had not painted, or they did not paint the guns, but the guns do rotate. Um, that, that the entire thing rotates. Like, the entire... Uh, I don't know if you guys can see that, but... The entire bottom part rotates. Not just the, the very, very bottom of it. <laughs> you can see these legs are just, like, flying backwards. I may have to do something about that. Um... The actual eyes of the droid, like, that's a very glossy coating. And then they added the eyes on top of that. That is so cool. That is so, so amazing. Um, honestly, this, this would have been an excellent toy if they'd actually built one. Like, I could see this being a, an army builder. All right, um, now for the next piece that I've got to carefully get out of here without too much damage to the box. I know right now all you're hearing is tearing in the background and some people are like, no, don't tear it. Look, I'm an opener, deal with it. I knew as soon as I saw this thing, no matter what I paid for it, I was gonna open it. And then you've got the, the really cool, now these don't lock into place. These just sit there. So, but that is a really, really cool pose. I mean, that is just, let me see if I can pan that around just a little bit. Oh my God, that is just too cool. I mean, you can have the guns facing in different directions. Um, that is just amazing. And the stand looks fantastic with it. It's a different, different color earth than what you saw with like the uh, the ATTE or with the uh, Rancor. So it's it's darker, deep, kind of chocolate color. But wow, that thing looks fantastic. Um, I don't know. I really have to thank Torpedo Comics for. I don't know how they were able to get this thing, but I thank them for listing it, allowing it to be sold, working with me on a great deal. Um, I'm going to take some pictures of this, uh, which I'll post to Rebel Scale soon. So probably by the time you guys see this video, um, it will have, there will be photos on the website as well. And wow, I just, I can't say enough about this thing. Scale wise, um, Maybe one one hundredth, somewhere between one seventy second and one one hundredth scale. I think, um, you know, troops should probably be about, you know, that that tall. I think so. Maybe maybe micro machine scale actually. Um, I want to look at it a little bit more. I want to uh, show you the back of it. I want to kind of look at where the legs are just not quite. A little too wobbly. I want to see if there's something I can do about that without... Obviously, I don't want to damage this thing um, because of how much it, it costs. But, oh my goodness. I mean, can you, can you just... That is just so cool. That is just so cool. And really posable. A lot of, lot of posability. I mean, I, I wish that there was a little bit more, but the legs are so small. 
and fiddly, um, I'd be afraid of anything else. And it, just in case you're curious, this is actually a harder plastic. These legs are a harder plastic. These are the more flexible plastic. The guns are the more flexible plastic, like you saw with the um, the ATTE's uh, blasters. They were that flexible plastic color. But, you know, I mean, that is... Oh, and here we go. Has a 2003 date on the bottom. Hasbro, China, Action Fleet. I mean, this thing was ready to go into production. They were so close. I wish they had, because this was going to come out alongside the Jedi Starfighter, um, Zamwis L's, and Anakin Skywalker's Airspeeders. They had a Mon Cal Cruiser that I had pre-ordered, a um, Ralph McQuarrie Blue A-Wing. They had plans for a Star Destroyer. They had announced that they were going to do a Hellfire Missile Droid. They had so many things that they were going to release, and it just never never came to fruition, and I'm sure those molds are long gone. It's a little, little issue where the eye missed a little bit of painting right there. Um, I am probably not going to touch that up, though. I... I want to keep this thing and display it in as close to the original condition as possible. Um, all I'm going to do is try to bend back a few pieces that, that have gotten bent over the years of it probably sitting. Um, try to straighten out some of these legs just a little bit. I really think this leg was, was kind of bent in the process of it being displayed awkwardly. Um, but yeah, I mean that even even just moving the legs around like this, you can you can really make some cool scenes. Like a kid would have a field day with this if they liked this size and this scale. And honestly, I don't know if uh, Micro Galaxy Squadron is going to do one because these only appeared really in Attack of the Clones. I mean, you see them in the background of uh, Revenge of the Sith, but they only appeared in Attack of the Clones. We never saw them in the Clone Wars. They they never were painted in Separatist colors or anything like that. Um, so I don't know if Micro Galaxy Squadron is going to do something like this. And I love this vehicle. I thought it, I, all of the vehicles, really, Attack of the Clones, I loved all the vehicles and stuff. I really liked that movie. Um, and I would love to see some other things, like the big... Um, SPHAT walkers with the giant turbo lasers. I'd love to see a, a Hellfire missile droid that's about that size. Um, I mean, there's just there's so, so many options that they could do. Cargo gunships, tons of things. We'll see what Micro Galaxy Squadron does. Um, but I know that they want to focus on things that they can repaint and not things that you know, are more or less one-offs, but we'll see. What date does this thing have? 2003. Hasbro, China. 2003. Here's the mold release. <laughs> the, mold, the, the mold release points for it. Uh, that's a really cool looking base. That is really neat. But anyway, guys, like I said, photos are going to be up. I have no qualms about taking it out of the box. I knew I was going to do that the minute I got it. So anyway, thank you guys for tuning in. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. Please ask me any questions you have about it. If anybody knows how many are out there, or if you have one, I would love to know how many that are actually made. I know of at least three others. There's a guy in China that has a buddy of mine that has two of them, one open and one sealed. And then there's another one uh, sealed that I have seen. And I don't think it was this one. I don't think this one got traded around. Um, but I don't know. I, I wonder how many they made. It was probably, it's got to be less than 10, probably five or less, I would think. So the odds of this thing coming up again are probably pretty slim. I'm sure 3PO would have those exact calculations. And, you know, if if you have Action Fleet... Star Wars prototypes or Micro Machine prototypes and you would like to share some photos 
for rebelscale.com. I would love to include those because obviously I'm going to take a, a thousand shots of this thing and include those shots. And if anybody else wants to toss in the ring, I'd be glad to give you a shout out on the website because I just I love having that information out there. So anyway, guys, thank you so much, and I hope you enjoyed.